Hi everyone, my name is George Farmer, also known as the Aquascaper, and I'm here to talk a little bit about my NA 65cm. I say NA, Natural Aquario, that's uh, recently been taken over by a company called Aquavaz. Um, it's been running for about three months now. Um, if you've seen my earlier videos, you can see it's grown in quite a lot. Although yesterday I did do uh, a hefty session of maintenance on it. Uh, which included ripping out the entire foreground carpet and also pruning heavily the Rotala rotundifolia in the background. Um, just after I'm going to speak, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step video of how I did that. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Um, but going back to the Aquascape itself, um, I'm really pleased with it. The, um, the cryptical line balance side of the background I'm not so pleased with. It's a little bit too chaotic for my liking. So. I'm considering replacing that with a Cypress Health Ferry, um, but you can see all the crypts are growing in nicely, the Anubius, uh, the Bucephalandra there, and uh, we've got a Trident Fern as well. Uh, so classic sort of low maintenance plants, which is what I want, and that's one of the reasons I got rid of the, the carpeting species, because they were growing too quickly and I was having to, to prune them regularly. And actually I was getting a little bit of staghorn algae as well, which I think was down to um, probably a combination of poor circulation down here and low CO2 levels because I am running the CO2 quite low on this tank just to keep growth levels down. So um, without further ado we'll move on to the step-by-step uh, -step of how I pruned, how I got rid of the foreground and pruned, pruned the Rotala. Um, please subscribe, uh, thanks to all my new subscribers. Um, if you like what you see please share with your friends and take care and keep on scaping. Cheerio, bye. So here you can see the before, so you can see the Rotala is overgrown and the foreground carpet is in desperate need of a trim. First thing I do is use an algae scraper all around the tank to wipe the algae and then I'm just simply pruning the Rotala right back with uh, long scissors which makes it really easy, just removing the Rotala there. And now I'm giving all of the plants a nice gentle wave with the hands, giving them a stroke, getting rid of any detritus that's collected on there, any loose pieces of algae. If I see any leaves that are really badly covered in algae, I'll just remove them. And here I go, starting to remove the foreground plants. There's a, a real big mixture of plants in there. We've got Staragyne, Portovello, um, we've got Latonia, the new, new foreground plant from Tropica. There's some Pogostomon Helferi, there's some hair grass. Um, what else have we got? Uh, there's some Cryptocore and Parva as well and it's all kind of intermingled and it, look, it looks great but actually it's too much maintenance for me. I've got five aquariums at home and um, yeah there's only so much you can do. Um, so I've removed most of the foreground plants there and now I'm just siphoning. Uh, loads of collected organic waste there which is which can cause algae so I give it a good siphon and now I'm uh, cleaning the substrate line with a toothbrush, uh, give it a really really good scrub but being careful not to scrape the gravel against the glass. And there we go, the, the, I've still got the filter running while I'm doing all that, so hopefully the filter's collecting all of the uh, floating organic matter. And there we have the uh, tank filled up uh, after the session. So I think the whole thing took me about two hours. And there we go, 24 hours later, the fish has settled in and the, the plants are uh, looking great. And the Rotala will grow back nice and red, hopefully, and eventually I'll probably re replace the crypt Blunt side with Cypress Hellferry. So thanks for watching guys, please subscribe, take care, bye bye.